Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here on the floor of Java One talking to members of the Java community. I've got Kevin Rushforth with me. Hey, Kevin. Hi, how are you doing? Pretty good. I'm doing well. Um, so tell me about, you've got some really cool demos with JavaFX here. Yeah, we do. Uh, JavaFX is our current client technology that we're uh, making available. It's part of FX uh, for Java on JDK 7, and what we're showing here is what's coming new in JDK 8 with JavaFX. Oh, you can excellent. Do. So let's come take a look at the screen here and show us what you have. Okay, so this is one of our demos. It's called Ensemble. It's basically just a showcase app that allows us to take um, little simple samples showing the different things that you can do in JavaFX. So the, the top one, the featured one there, is just an uh, example of our charting API. So we have many different types of charts available in JavaFX. This one is just a candle chart. So for each one of our demos, it shows you a little example of what it can do. We have a set of related samples and tutorials that you can look at. We have the documentation for each of the classes that are used here, so you can look at the Java doc for the class right in line. And then for each of the demos, you can see the source code. And you can download it and uh, export it into a NetBeans project. So it's just a really good way for users uh, of JavaFX to get started in a way that will allow them to take these and then create their own applications. So another example of a charting API is our pie chart. And is this available now, or do people have to wait for eight? Um, it, well, it's available both now and it's only for eight. Okay. You can download early access versions of Java 8. We just made a developer preview available, but uh, weekly builds are there on Java.net, and this is available for download right now from Java.net. Wow, so the future is Java. It's all about eight. You can get eight now, and um, we're going to hop over and take a look at another demo here. So let's jump. So tell me what we're looking at here. So here we have a chess playing program. This was something that we showed at the keynote. It's a, a program that allows you to visualize a chess game in progress. Our development team wrote a chess server where you can play games between two people and, and then they wrote a client where you can just observe a game in progress and it's drawn and rendered using our new 3D API. So they modeled these pieces in 3D and we have in FX for JDK 8 new 3D graphics APIs that allow you to display this. So this is just something you could also download and run today. Wow, it's really cool. And then we have it happening in the real world, right? So tell me about this. Exactly. So uh, again, all hooked up to the same chess server. They, what they did is they took these same models that you saw rendered here and they exported them to a 3D printing service and they had pieces made from the exact same models. So these are the, the same chess pieces only printed in 3D and, and uh, cast in plastic. And then we have a Raspberry Pi running the uh, Java FX, or, sorry, Java for ARM controlling this robot uh, servo. Wow, so Java really is end-to-end, -end, right? Absolutely. So, this is very cool. And if I wanted to learn more about this demo, is it over after the show, or will I be able to see more of it somewhere else? Um, not quite sure. We'd have to ask the people who are in charge of the robot. Uh, they, they guard it very carefully. Okay, so, wow. So it's a good thing we've captured the video of it. I want to thank you, Kevin. This has been really interesting, and I hope you have a great Java 1. Thank All you. Right, thank you very much. All right, bye-bye.